If you already have a big monitor and you want a small monitor, then you should check this out. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda. So I bought this little 10 inch computer monitor. You might be saying, why would you want a 10 inch computer monitor? Pete, especially when monitors are so cheap, you can probably get for the same price, like a 32 inch monitor. Well, I actually have an eight inch monitor connected to my computer and I use it as a separate monitor for when I'm doing presentations. So when you select share screen on your computer, Zoom calls, team meetings, those types of things. Well, what I don't wanna do is share my 49 inch widescreen monitor because it always looks weird on people's computers. And so having a standard 16 by nine inch monitor is really the way to go. But since I don't use that monitor very often, I didn't want it to be huge. Now, one of the problems that I have there is my existing monitor is eight inches. And when I put stuff down there, I have really noticed that that eight inches is really too small to be able to see text if I'm showing a document or a brochure or something like that. And I have trouble reading it and looking at it and controlling and highlighting and pointing to things on it. And so I picked up this. This is another monitor here. It's very small. As you can see, it kind of has a matte finish, which is nice, anti-glare and you know a fairly modest bezel half an inch all the way around but what you might be able to see there is it says 10.1 inches so two inches larger in diameter and even though this is still a pretty small monitor my hope is that it's just a little bit bigger to make it a little easier on my eyes when I am using it as a second monitor for presentations or sharing the screen now I do want to show you inside this box here we get just a ton of stuff you get coax right there it looks like you get RCA cables we get a VGA cable, we get the power cable, which I'm going to need there, single prong, and then a two prong outlet right there. We also get an HDMI cord, which is really nice. We get a little remote control for it, and then we also get the stand for it. Now, I actually just noticed that this looks like it is a stand that can be mounted to things, kind of like the Visa mounts. We have some holes right there, so you can put it on the wall, but I actually want to put this on the ground, and so I also noticed that they included this little foam sticky pad here and it's funny because it's actually double-sided sticky so you could mount this somewhere where you don't want it to move i guess you can mount it to a wall potentially or to your table your desk something like that but it's going to be generally kind of permanent once you do that thing now the other thing that i want to show you is that i do like this foot because it's pretty small it does have a little thumb screw right there so I can angle this but what you can see here is that we have this little plate and when you unscrew this thumb screw on the back it kind of sticks out and then we have a track right here on the back so the nice thing is I should be able to adjust this up and down now on the bottom you can see where all the ports are where you can plug in the power there VGA I'm going to use HDMI so I'm not going to use any of these a USB and that's where the coax is it also looks like maybe we have some speakers in there in terms of total thickness I'd call this about an inch and a half maybe an inch and three quarters thick not including this piece but the full part right there so what I'm going to do here now is go ahead and slide this in here and I don't want it to take up a lot of space on my desk I do want it to be pretty close to the ground so I'm actually going to tighten it in way down here on the bottom so that I don't have a lot of wasted space, especially since this is a little bigger than my existing monitor and it's gonna sit below my big monitor, I would really like it like this. Now you can also see here on the front, we have some buttons here. So AV1 and 2 inputs. We also have a menu button and then the up and down control here and then a power button. So let's go ahead and get this plugged into my computer and see if it's better. All right, so here's my big monitor and my little eight inch monitor sitting below it. Here is a website that I might pull up, share. This is about that Brava shaft. And if I zoom way in there, you can see that even though this thing is maxing out, you can read that, but you gotta get in there really closely to be able to read that. And if I'm trying to type in a URL or someone's like, hey, what URL are you at? Man, it's really hard to tell. So let's get that monitor replaced with the new monitor and see if it's better. Okay, so it looks promising here. I'm just gonna hit the AV button here. I'm going to go down. I'm going to keep hitting it to get down to HDMI and then let it select. Looks like it auto-selected. Ooh, my screen is flashing and refreshing. All right. I've got a picture up here. Let's pull down that website and see if it looks any better. All right, so I've got it set up here as the extended display. I've got that same web page here. I can tell this is bigger. I mean, I can read it from where I'm sitting now, even when I get in on it. Again, 3X optical zoom here. 
um, obviously you can see hopefully quite a big difference there so it just looks that much better already even though this is only maybe 2.1 inches larger than the other one that's pretty nice now i can actually go up here and play around with the resolution if i wanted to and get it to a different resolution and that looks pretty good too so i mean i am really happy with this over the 8 inch display which has served me well here i definitely like that matte anti-reflective finish a little bit more than this glossy finish as well as those extra two inches make a big difference that's what she said so if you want to pick up this 10 inch display because you want to connect it to your computer as an auxiliary monitor or you want to plug in a roku or you want to take it on the road with you or you want to strap it to the back of your headrest in your car play movies on it whatever i will put a link to this guy in the description below peter von panda out we can discover more and explore so much deeper we can live better than